Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Ben African Cichlids. So, you picked up a used fish tank and now you're wondering how the hell are you supposed to clean those things? Well, don't worry about that because I'm going to show you that right now. First thing we're going to do is actually remove the sand and all the dirt in there. So for this we're going to use a shop vac. You might not have one with a smaller, a smaller one or anything like that. Uh, you might need attachment or you might not. Usually the hose is good enough to pick everything up. So we'll fire this up. Okay, now our first step is done and we have all loose stuff and loose sand out of there. So a little bit, but we can, you know, I'm doing a quick job right now just in order to show you. Next thing we're going to do is clean the glass. So you're going to need yourself some Windex and paper towel or rag, whatever you want to use. So now for Windex. Any product or chemical can clean uh, can uh, end up killing your fish or leaching into your uh, leaking into your water column after a while. So you do not want to use that inside of your tank. Uh, you want to use that only on the outside of your tank. And in order to use that, we're not going to start spraying the tank because some of the chemical might go inside the tank. So what you want to do is your rag or your paper towel, you're going to spray this somewhere else, not close to the top of your tank. Don't put that on the lid and start spraying it. You don't want that. So now you're going to just clean all of your glass, you know, do all the side, make it look nice. You might have to spray your rag a couple times. So I'll try to remove everything. Okay. And then let's say that we did everything. Now the next step, after we finish cleaning all the glass, we're going to grab more paper towel or a new rag. Don't reuse the paper towel that had Windex on it. And uh, now we're going to clean our frame here and the buildup of uh, uh, mineral that is around the rim. Okay, in order to do that, same with the trick for your car, except you might not use a uh, harsh product, but we're going to use just household vinegar for this. This, if it goes into your, your water or your aquarium, we can just rinse it out. Uh, if you would have a little bit remaining at the end that would still be in your water column, for example, uh, by accident, then that would just lower the pH a little bit, which, you know, with this amount of water, it won't make that much difference. I guess if you would have one of those five gallon tank or smaller and make a big difference, but uh, I don't know if, why you would you buy one of those small tank. They're cheap enough at the store anyway. I don't know why you would buy that used, but Anyway, if you did, then uh, yeah, just make sure you rinse it well after you use this. So now we're just going to put a little bit of that on our rag. So now we have a little bit on our rag and then we can start wiping all the mineral off. You might not do a perfect job the first time you do it, but that's why we're going to do the next step after. This is going to remove all the free stuff that's 
you know, um, the stuff that's not stuck hard onto your plastic or your tank at first. And then if you have stuff that is actually harder than this, then uh, what we're going to be able to use is going to be some razor blades. So now we got one razor blade out of there. So stuff, there's a little bit of stuff built up here. So you can grab your razor blade and just scrub it in. Try to, I'm gonna show you this here. We don't have nothing to scrub on this side too much, but um, try not to go like too much like this or an angle like that. That might cut your plastic, like, you know. Try to just make it go like almost flush with the plastic. I guess you can go like 90 degrees, but then it won't really do too much. So yeah, just, you know, put your put your finger against the frame here and just make your end and your finger slide like this. And then, you know, this is time consuming. But if you buy a used tank, it's either to save money or because the you buy a really big tank and they're super expensive. Well, which I guess at the end of the day, it's always to save money. So anyway, so you can do this and then pass the shop vac again to grab all this. And then after all this is removed, I'll just, I have more sand to remove at the bottom and I don't want to shop vac is loud so I don't want to make you listen to that too much so I'll just throw this at the bottom so and then now you can just pass your rag with vinegar again and then that will clean up your frame like I said you might have to do that a few times but uh, yeah so this is what you're going to use to do your frame is the vinegar and then to clean the inside of the aquarium and to disinfect it, just cause you don't know, people that are getting rid of the tank might have had disease in there before or something like that. So you wanna really clean up the tank and disinfect everything and kill everything that could still be alive, like any disease that might still be alive in there. So what we're going to do it's we're going to use the paper towel again and then uh, just wipe the inside of the tank with bleach which bleach is like chlorine so we're going to be able to clean this and uh, what we're going to do after that to neutralize it uh, so we're just going to use our water conditioner because bleach is like chlorine, then the water conditioner is gonna uh, make it uh, inert again. So, and we're going to flush the tank a couple of times. So anyway, so now we're going to put some bleach in there and then scrub everything. And then you're going to make a mix of uh, bleach. Uh, we're going to put like, fill up the tank and then we'll put like a couple cap full of bleach in there. Or you can make a solution of bleach, like a 1 to 10 solution or 1 to 20 solution in there. And then uh, you just, you know, fill up the fill up the tank. Usually just a few capful is good enough anyway to kill anything that might still be surviving in there. Um, so even if the tank is dry, some disease might be like, you know, resistant or dormant or something like that. So don't want to take any chances. Uh, yeah, we're going to clean everything by wiping it with the bleach first or Javex and then after that we're going to refill the tank and then you want to check it for a leak too because it's not a new tank and if you're not planning to do a reseal really check it for a leak so you're going to let it sit and uh, we're going to let it sit for two to three days you can let it sit up to a week if you want to be hundred percent sure and just leave it with the water and your bleach solution in there. And that's gonna kill everything in there. And then after that, you just empty the tank, either with buckets, if 
if it's your first tank, you might not be set up with like a siphon and all that stuff there. But anyway, empty the tank with whatever you need, like buckets, cup, whatever. And then uh, after that, we're going to rinse it. So refill it at least two to three times. And then the first time you're refilling it, Use your water conditioner and then refill it, dump it, refill it, dump it. And then after that, you can set it where you want it to sit, whichever shelf or unit you have for it or desk or whatever. And then you can refill it there. And then again, if it's your new tank, always use water conditioner every time you fill. If it's not your new tank, then you already know about that. Um, so yeah, and then you'll be uh, you'll be ready to go. If it's your new tank, and then you're wondering what I met by uh, the siphon, uh, and if you're using buckets and uh, siphon here, clean up your tank. This is what a siphon looks like. Uh, you can I'll link a video and I'll put it up here somewhere too. You can click on it about. Uh, how to do tank maintenance or how I do there's one video that I have too that's about uh, how I do the maintenance on the fish room so you can see me using a few different things to you know suck up the water out of the tank so a siphon one end is like this and then they'll just like vacuum some people call it vacuum too so you can vacuum the bottom of your tank with this a substrate or gravel and all this and then the other side there that's a it's a little uh, primer with the check valve ball in here. And that's what's sucking your water and then your water just comes out of here. Now there's some pythons out there too that you can hook up to the sink and use water pressure from your sink to do the siphon for you. But anyway, those are all for other videos. And um, yeah, you can look at my list of videos. I got lots of videos for you if you're a newbie. and. Uh, if you're not new to the hobby, then I still have lots of tricks and little video of what I'm doing. So maybe some of them you already know all those answers, or maybe you should watch some of those because maybe there's a couple of things you didn't know. Or some stuff that I don't know or I don't realize and uh, yeah, shoot me a comment. I'm always happy to communicate with everybody that uh, is willing to talk to me about the hobby on uh, either Facebook or uh, on my YouTube channels. All right, so cheers, good luck, and uh, hopefully you get everything that you needed to know about how to clean the used tank.